Jadron here. What's going on, guys? This is RC Logger, and we're gonna give this a fly. I got this for like, I think like 28, close to 30 dollars. I think they're still selling pretty cheap. I'll throw a link down below. Uh, it is a brushless drone. It's a brushless drone. It's an acro drone. It has three different modes. This is an older drone. That's why they're selling for cheap. Uh, we'll go over the controller really quickly. You have an on-off button. Double tap this, which we'll go over. Uh, it'll change the LED light on top, let you know what mode you're in. This is for height hold up here, and that's about as far as I got, as far as the instructions go. There is a bind button to the left of uh, the white plug in there. I'm not really sure what that's about. Uh, in the instructions, it said that you can bind this to your own transmitter um, using a box that they provide. Uh, I, I would assume if the protocol is a common protocol, we can jump this. But I'm not sure about that. That's just me thinking out loud for you guys. Um, all we do to plug this in is simply just plug that in. We get a steady green light on here. Go ahead and turn your controller on. You get did it. It blinks. Um, if we double tap this, blink, you go to orange. That's your second mode. Double tap, we go to red. That's your acro. Double tap, we're back to green, beginner mode. Uh, to fire the motors, let me put my hood up. It's like 30 some degrees out here, high wind. UAV forecast said no good for fly, but I'm flying. Um, down and out, we'll fire these motors. And we can go up. Easy, easy, easy. What are we doing here? Not really sure what just happened. Maybe let's try uh, put in that second mode. There we go. Okay, I guess beginner mode had uh it couldn't handle the wind it wasn't going anywhere so if you have high wind like i'm dealing with you're going to need to be in the second mode and then we should be able to fly in this yeah we could fly in this uh be careful guys i already had one friend report back to me and i had a friend report to me before i even flew this um that the arms are weak uh they are weak arms if you crash this you're probably going to break the arms this tank's hanging I got wind. Uh, no joke wind, and this thing's hanging. Yeah. It's quiet, too. Super quiet. Super quiet. Let's go ahead and bring it down here. Yeah, <laughs> in beginner mode, it couldn't handle it. The, the pitch wasn't that great that it could handle the wind. This thing is quiet. Let me be quiet so you could hear this. super quiet even when you punch out it's really not whining let's try the height hold I want to see what that's all about I think I just pressed it or maybe you got to be in beginner mode for that I don't know I, I was looking over the instructions there's a lot of instructions for this I'm actually intrigued by this drone um, and again, it's an older drone. This isn't new. This has been on the market for quite some time. We're going to go ahead and bring it over here, hopefully get a nice shot of it. It is cold. It is windy. So as far as stabilizing this in front of my face, like I generally can, is uh, easier said than done. But I think I almost got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on now. Come on now. The wind's pushing it. Up close for the camera. Up close for the camera. Yes. That was nice. But here, we'll do it. We'll do a quick punch up. That way you guys can see. Because I actually I didn't do a punch up yet. Hopefully we don't lose it. Hopefully the wind don't take it. Three, two, one. Nice punch ability. Nice punch ability. Go ahead and turn this out this way. There is also simple mod to tap your connection where you can put a positive and negative off of it. That way you could run your own batteries off of this. Uh, again, I'm intrigued with this. This It's been out for a while. There's a lot of people that have modded this. There's a lot of my friends that picked this up for the dirt cheap price uh, that it is or was on Amazon. And even after I got it, it was still at a pretty low price. Again, I'll put a link down below providing it's still low. And <laughs> I don't know if you could see the bushes and stuff in front of me. It's windy, man. 
super windy. Little punch forward. That was a punch forward and we barely, we barely heard any type of whining. Like generally you get a, a screaming sound off the bugs and whatnot. This thing's great. This thing is great. And it's frosty out here, guys. But I'm out here, one, because I love to fly. And two, because of you guys. This, uh, dude, I did the unboxing of this probably like a month or two ago. So this is long awaited for you guys. Uh, I do apologize for, uh, for the delay in getting this out here as I've been flying other things. Now the charger for this battery is like a USB stick um, that this very proprietary battery plugs into. So you're not gonna wanna lose that. Or you can do the simple mod that I just explained where you go on the other side of the board and put a positive and negative and we've got a neighbor coming again. We're gonna go over here. I just got a beep on my controller. I'm not sure what that's about. I got another beep on my controller. I don't know if that's an LVC. Um, I'm going to try to turn this around. I don't see that front light blinking. I don't see the side light blinking. There's two side lights and a front light. We got a red light on the left, we got a green light on the right, and we got a white light in the front. I don't see any of that blinking, so I'm really not sure what that beeping was about. There's a little look at your yaw rate in your uh, intermediate stage, your second speed setting. But for the price on this, brushless motors, you can't beat it. And again, we are in, uh, we're in some sig significant wind. The gusts, I believe, are at like 20 some odd mile an hour, maybe 22 mile an hour, I thought I saw on UAV forecast. And the constant wind's probably in double digits. And this thing's hanging. And again, I'm getting beeping from my controller. I'm not sure what that's about. A double beep, beep, beep. I partially read the instructions, but I wanted to get out here before that sun completely set because the temperature is going to drop considerably. Really nice flyer. I am using, it did come with batteries. It came with two AAA batteries that went in the controller. Um, and again, with an old product like this, it probably sat on the shelf for quite some time. So. Maybe the beeping is coming from uh, batteries, maybe a controller LVC as opposed to a drone LVC. I don't know. Um, that's a good look at it right there. And we got full, full blinking on red and the green and the white. So I'm assuming that's LVC. I'm assuming that's your LVC warning. And it's doing it more often now. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it. And I'm in, a, I'm in extreme cold here for a drone flight. We're gonna set it down, down and out, shut off the motors. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. I think. Should turn it off. Maybe it was, I bet. Cause I'm not getting any, any sounds coming from my controller. Maybe the triple A's that were in, uh, maybe the triple A's that were in um, the box, maybe they were just about kicked and this cold weather did it. But um, that was fun. That, that was fun. That was the test that I was looking for. RC Logger, dirt cheap. It should still be dirt cheap on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely get at me. And uh, I'll definitely get back at you. All right, later.